and this that, is another, and this that, is another map of and that uh, long zone at the top in the middle that's West Broadway and about every car for about four blocks was toasted the paper wasn't burned. The buildings weren't burned. The trees weren't burned. Trees there were, were cars burned. underneath green Bush, trees. Bushy green trees. Bushy, and they weren't singed or... Right. And they were like weirdly burned, weren't they, some of these cars? Some of them, the engines were missing. And exactly. Okay, let's go 121. Let's look at some of the... Uh, of what happened. The toasted bus. The toasted bus. And this it looks like some of it's melted. I mean, the metal has melted. What's interesting is you see in the distance, Building 7 is still standing. So you know about what time it is. The building 7 fell at about 5.20 in the right. afternoon of 9-11. Well, it's finally, it's finally so demise. Fell, <laughs> evaporated and... Or went away. <laughs> okay. But notice the car on the very right, on the edge of the picture. Yeah. It's rusted. Yeah, it's rusty, isn't it? Yeah. Steel, does it, especially car steel, doesn't rust instantly. Well, there's something happens to it. It's very unlikely, isn't it? Even if it got soaking wet in salt water in a few hours, it would not go... Well. It still has some areas of its paint showing, its undercoat, but it's, it's pretty amazing how quickly these vehicles rusted. Let's look at 122. This is lots more um, toasted cars. The photo in the upper right corner, notice the door handles missing. That was just a pattern I noticed. And also, you see the vehicles on the far side of the street with the trunk lid popped open. The car in the middle has the sliding door open. The car on the right, something's weird about its engine underneath, the front end. But it seemed to be that the door latches and trunk latches, you call them boots? Boots, we do call yeah, them boots, yes. Popped. And the um, car right below that in the bottom right corner, its engine is missing. The engine is missing, so how did that car get there? This is, you know, this is... And there were several cars, weren't there? Lots the of engines them. just gone. But of course, engines are made of iron, right. largely. Some of them are made of aluminium. I know before you all text in, I know some are. But many are made of iron. Yeah. And particularly in America, where they don't like aluminium engines <laughs> for some reason. In the bottom left corner, you see a you know, missing engine. But the car in the, in the picture of the bottom left, but the car in the right side of it, notice the abrupt change between the front end and the door. And that's where that arrow is pointing to that right. abrupt change. So it looks like you know, one half is, I know in your book you say one half is like wax on, wax off. Yeah. And the other half is just ter terminal wreck. They get you thinking about the rubber gasket they put around doors. Yeah. As though that's uh, an insulator. So this is the electrical part of your nuclear electrical magnetic. I'm just noticing the, the, this uh, you know, trend that you have this abrupt change on the doors. In that top left picture, can we just go back to that picture again, one, two, two. In that, in that top left picture, what, what is that? Uh, I think it used to be a, a mail truck. <laughs> I mean, a building didn't fall on it, did it? And if it did, it was just dust and paper. <laughs> Parallelogram kind of thing. Uh, it, it, it's extraordinary, isn't it? It is extraordinary. And the, the, the police car that's parked right next to it, you see just the back end's toasted, not the door again. The front is fine. Yeah. So it appears. And let's, let's look at the, the final picture of toasted cars. We have got, there's plenty more in Judy's book, but let's not go crazy here. Let's look at one, two, three. Now this one. Unburned paper. Unburned paper all over the place. There's green trees there. And the, the, the second car back on the right clearly doesn't have an engine. Another car parked in the street. How did it get there? without an engine. Did someone just, on that day, did lots of people decide to go out and take a car out with them with no engine? There's a tremendous number of them, including in the parking lot. But there's another trend to that. Notice the traffic light's still there. Yes, it is. It's, it's podded in the ground. Same with the signpost and the building. So you're saying it's earthed? Yeah. Whereas the cars are on rubber tires. Yeah. Ah. And things that are not uh, grounded, can build up a charge more. You know, this is what I like about your book, I've, I've got to say, Judy, because you're looking at evidence, and you're just saying, how can this be explained by two planes flying into tall buildings? These cars are, in some cases, miles away from the, from the buildings that were hit by planes. 
what on earth happened? 